And now we're finally using radians. So there's two ways to measure angles, degrees and radians. And when you have an angle in radians like three pi over two, and you wanna change it to degrees, then multiply by the conversion factor, 180 degrees over pi. The pi's will cancel and now it's in degrees. And then to reduce this, so a two will divide into 80, 90 times, and then multiply three times 90, that is 270 degrees. So what is this talking about, 270? So this would be zero degrees, this is 90 degrees, this is 180 degrees, and down here is 270 degrees. So it's basically saying that the angle is like this. Now usually the angle would be like this, or like this, or like this, and then I could, if it was like this, I could draw a straight line perpendicular to the x-axis and make a triangle. With this one, I can't, so I have to do it in a different way. So with this, what I could do is say, go along this red line, and this point right here, x would equal zero. So I know that x would equal zero. And what about the y value? Well, since this red line could stretch down forever, I could pick whatever. So I could say y is a negative one. Now, when you have right triangle trigonometry, you could use opposite and adjacent and all of that. You could also say this is x, this is y, and this is r. For this one, we're supposed to find cosecant, and then we're gonna use the identity that cosecant is one divided by sine. So what does sine equal? So sine of theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, or in other words, sine is equal to y over r. And also I could use the Pythagorean theorem that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Okay, now back to this. So this is what x equals and this is what y equals. So I could plug those in right here and then find out what r equals. So r squared is equal to x squared, so that's zero squared, plus negative one squared. When you square this negative one, it's gonna become a positive one, and then a one plus a zero is just one. Take this square root of both sides, r is equal to one. So then plug in these. So sine of three pi over two will be the y divided by the r. So negative one divided by one. Or in other words, sine of three pi over two equals negative one. Now that, I wanna check on the calculator before I go ahead and finish the problem. So, right now my calculator's in degrees. So go to mode, move down to radians, hit enter, now it's in radians. Put second quit, and now let's see if I got this part right. How much is sine of three, and then put second pi over two? and it equals negative one. Oh, happy day, I got this one right. Now to finish up the problem, just use this idea. So cosecant of three pi divided by two equals one over whatever your answer was for sine of three pi over two. So it's going to be one divided by negative one. So cosecant of three pi divided by two is equal to negative one. 
Now, my calculator doesn't have cosecant, so I can't test that answer. But since my calculator said I got that one right, I'm pretty sure I got this right. Hey Alexa, how much is cosecant of three pi over two? No, Alexa, not at all. Please stop. Thanks for your feedback. Well, she didn't get it right, but I did.